Hello and welcome to the Gender Juice Podcast. My name is Melissa. Your mama did not name you that. She didn't. What she, did she name me? Melissa. How you know? You I was here first. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Melissa, me, Lisa, <laughs> Chad. I am she ain't named you that either. I uh, need. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are real life sisters. We get on here every single week in your feed, talk about whatever the heck we want to talk about, everything and nothing at all. And we also thank our sponsors. That's what we do. Who are they, Mel? Hello, Fresh. My bookie and better help. We show sure enough. Thank y'all. Because <laughs> without y'all, there is no us. Amen. But that's not true because that's only the place of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You Hello, somebody. Amen. It. Hallelujah. Hi, I'm Melissa. And, and I'm Mel. Girl, let me tell you, I only had maybe a little less than half of that drink. When you're drinking, you just got to drink more. <laughs> I am a strongly worded email. Actually, that feels in line, though. That is not that's true. No, listen. And every now and again, when somebody get out of line, you just yell, pop the truck. <laughs> I'm the juice to her gin. Did we hit record? Is it working? Is it on? Okay, so we like to start off with a segment we like to call Long Story Short, where we give all of the details and no story is ever long because it's usually 45 minutes of an hour podcast. Yes. Um, so I only have a couple things. Okay. Uh, primarily this. I have secured and said yes to a dress. You, I need to see it. I'll show you. I'm I have a so sketch. How, I have a sketch. a sketch. Yeah, so this is actually what happened. Okay. Uh, Jen and Juice listeners, you will get a little bit of tea. I recorded videos that I'll actually post closer to the day to, uh-huh. to keep my Instagram audience up, but you guys will get a little bit of tea. This is actually what happened. Okay. okay. We went to New York specifically for this purpose, okay. right? To go wedding dress shopping because in my mind, six months was more than enough time. That is incorrect. You need nine to ten months at girl. least. You, yeah. Didn't know. Okay. Definitely thought six Especially months. If I've had all the time. Uh, listen, like. listen. Okay. I thought six months was, in fact, I planned it out that six months was the time frame. And they you were like, ooh, ask, girl. Do, do. Girl, they didn't ask. I, they didn't offer. I didn't ask because okay. I just thought I had moved. Okay. Um, so anyway, we go to New York. We visit uh, four different places. Germany's freaking fantastic. She, you know, she actually sent me like a presentation where we're going to go visit. Oh, these I are the it. things that I think you would like. Because, you know, I've been working with Germany for a while. Yeah. Um, so these are the styles I think you would like. Yada, yada, yada. Like she really, really like, like nailed the whole situation. Yeah. So we go to the places. I find a couple dresses that I like. A lot of it we're doing, obviously, like for the content of it. Right. right I'm right. trying on dresses that... There are wedding dresses that, um, I don't want to call them ugly. There are wedding dresses that are not my style. Okay. Okay. And then there are wedding dresses that are pretty, but I know they're not what I would like. Right. So we try those on just because it's fun. It's part of the experience. And I also want to capture some content. Right. So we, those are the pretty much most of the wedding dresses in the video. Mm -hmm. And then there are the dresses that like, I really like. Yeah. Okay. One of the dresses that I said yes to Kevin and mom really light in fact it was kevin's favorite dress okay okay so we go you know the night ends i'm like i need a moment i wake up the next morning and i'm like i really need to decide because six months is really on the shorter end of time framing so i'm going to choose this dress kevin says oh yay it's the one he likes this is my favorite dress okay oh mom yes love this dress oh so it's the day that we leave the place is open we go there we tell them yes I swipe my credit card. I put it back on. She's like, you should put it back on to make sure. Yes, uh-huh. And I am immediately um, underwhelmed. Oh. I don't know what happened. Okay. But I put it on. And the feeling that I felt the first day, I didn't have the second oh, time. Okay. So I was like underwhelmed by the dress. So I'm like, in my mind, oh, God, I feel like I'm making a, a bad decision. Oh. Like, but I'm already here. Like, the girl's already very excited. Like, she emailed Germany right away. Like, oh, my God. Like, we're so excited for Melissa. Like, let us know because we feel like wow. this is the dress. Because yeah. it was like really cute little vibe and all the stuff. I'm like, okay. So immediately we leave. And I'm instantly like. No, no, I don't know why it's a beautiful dress. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like this. I'm making the wrong decision. Okay. So we leave, we go to another location because we're doing some work there, Mm -hmm. fly from New York, go to a different location. And I wake up and I literally text Germany. Talk me out of this. I feel like I made the wrong decision. And she's like, give me a call right now. (laughs) So I give her a call and she's like, talk me through how you're feeling. And I'm like, honestly, like the people pleaser in me is really struggling okay. because 
I know this is the dress my husband likes. Yeah. I know this is the dress my, my mom likes. Um, and I also know if I tell them no, Germany has to tell them no. Uh-huh. Like I'm putting, you know, yeah, that's yeah, her yeah. job. That's yeah. what she's here 100%. for. But like, I don't want to put you in that position. We told these people, yes, I've already swiped my credit card. Now we have to tell them no. I did get, they do offer like a 24 hour. Yeah. Before you're like committed, committed. And so she's like, First of all, I don't care. Y'all was gonna say she's like I she's don't. Been doing this a long time. She probably like. She's Girl. like it's not that big of a deal. Like don't worry about me. It's fine. And but I'm still like I feel bad. Yeah, yeah You know what yeah. I mean? Like I feel really, really bad. And then I have to tell these people no. I've already done the boomerang with yeah. them. I've already done the say yes to the dread. Like yeah. and they were like we looked up who you are. You know Come yes. On. So I'm like oh no. Nah. Now we did a little research. Nah, Tag nah. us when you post. You, and you guys, I, we've done this with you guys before. Gin and Juice listeners, you know, even when we did the HBCU tour. I don't go in saying, hi, my name is Miss Kev on yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah. This is who I am. Don't know who I am. Yeah. I don't want you to know who I am. Okay. Right. Let me just go in and be regular for a minute. Yeah. So we go in and I'm like, uh, I feel bad. So we talk it through. She's like, what are you thinking? I was like, honestly, I think it's this dress, but Kev didn't really like the dress. Low key, the video where he was like, I want to see another uh-huh. dress. It's not that dress, but it's also that dress. Oh. So I was like, I don't know. she was like, I think it had all the months you because all throughout the day when you're trying on multiple dresses, you realize, oh, I really like this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I really like this. this. If this. I look, and, yeah. and that dress had all of the pieces we were looking for for the different dresses, yeah, you yeah. know. So she sends the email, tells them no, calls the people, the place. I don't want to tell the city because it's going to give you guys away who the thing is. The city we were going to. They had a store seven minutes from our hotel. Oh, nice. So Kev was going to shoot. I ended up actually Patreon. Y'all are going to know because Kev did a vlog on it. Anyway, (laughs) y'all figure it out probably. So we ended up. Kev ended up going to shoot his podcast. I ended up going to the shop, uh-huh. trying on a different dress, like the dress that I kind of had in mind because the dress they had, they didn't actually have. It's a long story. Okay. Anyway, so I tried it on and I was like, this is the dress. Oh. So I like called mom, called Kev and they were like, no, 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 this is the dress. Like, it's so pretty. It looks yeah. really good. Yada, yada, yada. So then I was like, well, I don't really want an off the sh- off the shelf no. dress. So can you semi customize it? And so we asked them to do some little things and that's the sketch they Got sent it. me. Got it. It's very pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. It's very pretty. I'm very excited. I'm super, super happy. Good. Like I'm far more, I'm happier with this decision yeah. than the first one. And that's not to say, cause I am going to do a video, um, with the, my top three dresses that I didn't end up choosing. Okay. So you guys can see them and I'll show you guys the one I said yes to and then said no to. Yeah. Again, nothing's wrong. It's a beautiful dress. Right, right, right. Like, even looking at it today, I was like, honestly, it's a really pretty dress. There's nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't what I knew I wanted. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway... You have a dress. I said, I said, yes, I have a dress and it's semi custom. So low key off the shelf, but also they're going to customize it yes. so they can get it within my um, time frame. Okay. I have to fly back out to, um, I don't know if I'm going to go end up going to New York or the other city, but anyway, fly back out. I think they said in like April okay. to do like the final measurements or whatever, make sure everything's good. And then I'll fly back out in like May or June, no top of June to like pick it up. Got it. Got it. So I'm very excited. You should be. That's exciting. Yeah. I'm happy you went with the one you wanted. Yeah, so. I am too. Because if you know me, yeah. and I honestly feel like God was like, I I know Melissa, and I know she's going to mess up. Mm. So what I'm going to do is make this easy for her to fix it oh. when she realizes Hilarious. it. Hilarious. Because how many times have I known better, but I didn't know better? I, was gonna, I thought you were going to say, I know God was like, no, nah, I didn't taught you this lesson before. Don't make me teach it to you again. And he did. Because you didn't got this lesson now. Several times. Why do you want me to keep teaching you I, the 100. same lesson? And I promise you, I keep hitting. Like, I went in. Everybody is so funny because I've talked about this for like four years. Like, quite literally. how Since the love hour days, I've been talking about this. And how many times have I said, I want to do what I want to do. I want to do what I want to do. Yes. I wanna, and then immediately went into people pleasing mode and not out of like they would have been disappointed Mm -hmm. or they were trying to coax me or convince me not to just because it feels good as a people pleaser to hear that's what I wanted you to do yeah we should insert the clip there's a there's a gin and juice episode where you literally said because I want to yes because I want yes because me and that's what I want to do and immediately the whole people pleaser in me was like, look at how far we've come. Look at you doing exactly what you don't want to do for other people. 
Isn't that not funny? As long as you circled back. And I did. I'm so grateful because God worked it out. Because I was like, if I have to make another trip, like it's not going to be easy for my life, which means it probably won't happen until February, which mm-hmm. brings me that much closer to the June. Like it was just beginning. It was starting to like wait. Like I was stressed. Okay, like yeah. the girl was stressed. Okay, um, so anyway, but it was it was stressful, but also not. Like this is the thing I do want to say this: if you are a, a bride to be, and you're similar to me, and your people pleasing things are there, it was not as hard as I imagined it being. Mm. Oh, like the idea of. Oh no, like I have to go back and tell these yeah. people no. And oh no, Germany's gonna have to. It was much smoother mm. and much easier than the weight I felt and the anticipation of actually doing it. Got it. And so hopefully that'll make it easier for me the next time. But if you're a bride to be and you're struggling, like let this be your sign. It truly, truly, truly was yeah. not as hard, not as bad as I imagined it to be. So anyway, mom had, my, it was my mom's first time in New York. Yeah. She had a really great time. We took her to the MJ show, um, to, uh, put her up in a really nice room in the at the Ritz. Um, so it was a good time. She had a great time. I had a good time. She said, Mel, your sister and your brother-in-law, they treated me so nice. <laughs> I said, get off my phone, lady. Mel, it was so nice. We went to restaurants. We went to the show. I need to go back because I need to see Times Square. I was like... Get off my phone. She was like, Melissa, I really want to see Times Square. Like, I really want to go to Times Square. It was like 25 degrees as a high. And it got down to like 19 by like 4 o'clock. She said she. Uh, we're not walking around Times I Square. I need to see it. I'm not doing that with you. I, but the driver we had, he was so sweet. He overheard mom saying it. So on the way back from one of the nights, I don't, wherever we were coming from, he drove us down. It, so yeah. She, and because it's so cold, there's not a lot of people. Yeah. So she was able, and it was at night. So she was able it's to see the, the lights. Yes. Yeah. So, and mom was like. It's such a cool experience to see your parents in awe. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. like normally they're older, so they've done it before. Yeah. And so having her experience something for the first time, and it wasn't my first time, yeah, yeah. was really awesome to watch her intake yeah. New York City. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Watch her intake New York City like for the first time. Yeah. It was really very cool. I love it. Uh, let me tell you what else is cool. Hello Fresh. Yes. With Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh, pre proportioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. That's the cool part. Uh, skip trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Rather, your resolution is to save money, eat better, or stress less. We just talked about being stressed. Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm, is the way you don't mm-hmm. have to be stressed amen hello fresh is here to help you do all three say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef crafted recipes at a price you'll like delivered right to your door this time of year everyone's looking to revamp their eating habits everybody is reevaluating who they are and what they want out of the year and hello fresh agrees Look to HelloFresh's wholesome, healthy, forward options like over 30 calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. Uh, I just want to add this um, quick note that um, I feel like a while ago I made a video and it was like my genuine reaction of like, Oh, it's, it's like legit fresh. Like, like, hello, fresh. Like, anyway, because the, the stuff in there really be fresh. And I love that. Anyway, uh, so it is one of my definite favorite easy things to have to do subscribe to get food and not have to think about it the card is there I get my kids involved everybody loves the food there's a meatloaf recipe that I definitely love they also have a sweet potato mash recipe Mm. that I absolutely love I feel like on my own I can never master sweet mashed potatoes sweet potatoes mash yeah yeah sweet potatoes however you say that I can never master potato mash Sure. We'll go I can it. never do it because I feel like I make it too sweet. I make it too oh. like dessertish. But their recipe is so perfect. It like goes perfectly with the meals that they they have a chicken like it's like chicken and then the sweet potato mash. Listen, it's my favorite thing. Go to HelloFresh.com slash juice free. Juice free. And use code juice free. Juice free. For free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash juice slash juice free with code juice free juice free we love to see it um i got one more thing i just want to say really quickly do you because we ended up not playing it but i mentioned it to mom do you remember playing this game as kids me you and nick at 
table, like when we would go out to dinner. Uh huh. Oh, at dinner? Yes. And we would want to get to the end of our drink. Oh so gosh, anytime, yes. okay, good. Yes. So this is the game me and my sister used oh to play, gosh. and we were like low key doing it at the table with at dinner with my mom. So what we would do? This is, this so, is silly. so dumb. We would take our drink, our water oh cups my. that the waiter would give you, and the goal of the game is to get to the end of your water before the waiter comes to fill it, it back, back up. up. <laughs> so what we would do is the waiter would come and we would be. Like, you just have to grab your cup. <laughs> you know how you like look busy. You got to act, look busy with your cup so that they will be like, oh, now it's not a good Yes. Time. So if they snuck up behind you and started pouring, you would be like, because they were feeling, because you have to start all over. So I was telling mom <laughs> and Kev in Germany that that's what we would do. So I low key started like playing it, but by myself, because they really weren't participating. Oh, like, I got so close and that's what <laughs> happened. The waiter came up from behind me, just pouring. And I was like, this. like, you know, I'm almost done. It's like counter to their whole job, which yes. is to never let you be out of yes. water. But yet your goal is to like, let Get me to be the, by yes. water. So it's like a. I Shout said, out. I have to ask Mel if she remembers this. Yes, I'm so happy you guys That's do. That's so funny. I should play it with my children. They would, McKinley would love <laughs> oh, it. she would be all in. Oh, uh, I need to play with the boys too. We need to do it when we all go out to dinner. Yes. Because that would be such a blast. That's a good time. Okay, I'm very excited that you like remember this game. Because I was really like, oh, I have to ask Mel if she remembers. Yes, good So time. fun. All right, go. Um, I just want to say that I hate this is going to go into Pop the Trunk, that why is ice located behind the registers so dumb. at a grocery store? Mm -mm. Because you always forget. You always forget ice. It's it you never you it's it's so stupid. It's located in such a stupid place that every time every time I pass by it, I get angry. Like, why is this even over here? Yes. This is so stupid. I've gone to the store so many times and forgotten to get ice. You know when you need ice too. It's not you don't need ice every time you go to the grocery store. You need ice for an event. Yeah, absolutely. You need ice when there's a cookout, yes. when there's people over, yes. when you need a freaking cooler yep that's when you need ice and it's so hard to remember because you're always there for three thousand yes. other things as well not just ice so you just forget it yes the ice time. only run comes because you forgot the ice during the everything Absolutely. <laughs> during 100%. the everything run it's so stupid yes. i hate that and i also hate again it's when events are or holidays i hate where cool whip is located because i feel like cool whip should be where is cool whip located I don't, I, I, I feel like it's near the desserts, but I feel like it should be where sour cream is. It should be, but yes. Like, I feel like it's one of those things that's in a random, like pull yeah. out thing. Oh, not yeah. pull out thing. Like a, it's just in a random location. Yes. And it's so dumb. It's like, it's never, you know, where all the, the section of the grocery store where it's a long, it's a freezer, freezer. aisle. Yes. It's just a bunch of freezers, freezers, freezers. It don't be there. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about the refrigerated part or the freezer part? I don't even remember where it's located right now. Now I'm getting confused. I don't remember where it's, it's at either. It's never where it should be, though. It's, I think it is in the freezer, and I don't feel like it should be in the freezer because you actually don't keep Cool Whip freezered. See, people in here are saying it's in the freezer, but it's also saying it's near heavy cream and milk. I don't even think the grocery stores have an agreement on where it should be located. I don't like that either. Because I think it's in different places. It is. It, it should be where heavy cr heavy whipping cream and sour cr like cream. That dairy section. Yes. Yeah, I agree. But I it's cream yes. cheese. Yes. But I, maybe it is, it's with the frozen fruit. I think it's in the freezer aisle. In the freezer aisle. part. Yes, near like frozen pies. And that's. Like, like dino nuggetsville. Yes. Not dino nuggetsville. Dino nuggetsville is what Joshua said. I don't like that. Yeah, I agree. And I just want everyone who organizes the grocery stores to know, move the ice and move the have the cool whip. I agree with this actually. Thank I 100%. You. I think all grocery stores should have the same like f blueprint footprint I agree. so you immediately know where to go. 100%. Do you ever like I be on YouTube a lot the mm -hmm. research and recipes and then I'd be making them, but they'd be new to me. So then it'd be having ingredients that I never cooked before. Oh. So sometimes I literally Google like what how would I find this in? Oh, yes. Cuz I never some of the things I'd be like, I don't even know what this is. Is it yes. a liquid? Is it a cream? Is it a powder? Yes. I don't know. I Yes. Additionally, I always feel jealous of Instacart because this is an assumption. I don't know it to be true. But I believe that they have a layout. When they get orders, I think that the app tells them where to find it. 
Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. I just made that up in my head. I just choose to believe that. That would be clutch. But I made it up. Oh, everything is so much. Listen. Wait, 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 wait. Ordering wait. Are stuff. Are you saying, wait, are you talking about the delivery fee? No, the item and the delivery fee. Oh, Josh is saying that when you order stuff on Instacart, it marks it up. The price of the item is marked up. Oh, he's grabbing a mic. Mel, they said you're right. What? That there is a layout map. See? I, I did knew not it. know that. I knew it. I, how how did you all, know that? I made it in my head. I said if I had an app, a grocery app where people had to grocery shop for other people and I needed to be efficient because as you long would do a, yes, as you would you're do a in map. there, that yep. means you're not making me more money getting another order. I would do a f- freaking map. Yeah. Oh, Let I want you to we know, too, your mom judges the crap out of you because she really truly wants to understand who did she raise that curses as much every time i don't know mom i don't know who you know what the shocker is who that is because she raised me so it's your fault but you didn't raise me like that i don't know who this one is because she be cussing not not save mama marshall (laughs) Mm -mm. couldn't be her mom being (laughs) melissa Y- your baby sister just be cussing. Oh, I she's so know. dramatic. Her whole life is I, so dramatic. She just be cussing. I'm gonna call and curse. <laughs> I'm gonna call her and just randomly Mel, say curse words. Mel is the sister when me and Nick had C. It must have been just CJ and Isaiah were the younger ones and Mariah. And Mariah. It must have been CJ, Mariah, CJ. We went to Mel's house uh, when oh, she was still in college. Oh my gosh, my favorite story ever. And we were looking for kids cups for the children so they wouldn't spill it. And Mel's equivalent of kids' cups at the time in her life was a shot glass. Shot glasses. I had I had enough <laughs> to give for your children, more than one child. So I and, had enough shot glasses oh, to feed the kids she because did. I am about feeding the kids. And mom was just You're like, welcome. I raised oh an alcoholic. Oh my gosh, she was so dramatic. Oh, how did I raise Mel, an alcoholic? Why uh, would you have this many shot glasses? Mel, <laughs> that's the drama for me. Girl. <laughs> Okay, what are you about to say, Joshua? Bring it. No, so I was on DoorDash last week. We got sandwiches, Jersey Mike's. Oh, we Nothing Jersey crazy, Mike's. right? Yeah. Um, and I was going to pick it up, but I was like, ah, oh, let me get it delivered. So I had the, in the Jersey Mike's app, it was like $11 a sub, which is about whatever, like yeah. ten ninety nine or something like that. DoorDash, it was like 14 something. Uh, I was like, really? wait a minute. And then I went back later, and the price went up a little bit higher. So I think they they based on uh, oh, like, like supply and demand, times. like uh huh. But yeah, it's like a two three dollar markup oh, for gonna, the items, I and need then to try they this. still have the the fees that that is a percentage of the total. Oh it's not gosh. even like a set fee. No. It's like ten or twenty percent. It's so stupid. I but hundred. I've never noticed this, but now I'm gonna check because my check. my addiction is ice cream. We all know Oof. this. Oh my god! I will eat ice cream every single day. Yes, you okay, will. this is just this is just my truth. The problem is that I'm like, y'all ain't making no money if I'm ordering five dollar, three dollar ice cream. They are. And you know, to be nice, I'll order two so that way I don't have to order it again tomorrow. I'll just eat this tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll order two at a time. But I'm like, this is a ten dollar order. You're not making money. Mm-hmm. And actually, though, it's never actually ten dollars. It's mm-hmm. more like twenty dollars for my it little two. It always ends up being double the price. Yes, of the and so I'm always like, I wonder if they increase the price, but I haven't mm-hmm. gone into freaking Pinkberry in so long. I don't even remember how much it costs inside of the, the store. store. No, I haven't been in Pink like inside of a yogurt place. <laughs> Forget it. No, if y'all don't sit here and order this and, and deliver two, and I'll have one today and one tomorrow, and order another on Wednesday. Hello, and do it again for the. Uh oh, here go mama. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're the Uh-oh. Person. I'm glad I defended Uh-oh. her. Uh-oh. Hello? Hey. Oh, yes. Uh, look, see, look, you... What? Oh, we, we... She ain't watching. Mom, mom, we're on the podcast right now. Nick Mel was talking about you, so I thought you was calling. Cool. <laughs> Mel was talking about you. Wow. You're, you're, you raised a liar. So mom said... told me to call. He did to for you to go off on her? I didn't say no things. What you talking about? I'm going to watch because I know y'all was talking about me. Y'all talked about me last week, too. Mm-hmm. Cool. I heard it. Yeah, that was me because I, I had well, channeled. I was going to go to a, to a the baby shower. Mom, you would go to the I, baby shower? Absolutely, I would go. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. Without a shadow of a doubt. Mary Marshall would Without be a, a shadow. 
I'm going to get the tea. Hilarious. Okay, let me call you back. I'm going to send you this sketch, by the way. Okay. All right, bye. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Ah! Ah! Uh That's hilarious to me. Speaking of things you need to do, let's talk about my bookie. Gear up, sports fans. The national championship and NFL playoffs are here, and it's time to get in on the action with my bookie. Don't just watch. Score big with exclusive boosted odds and huge prize contests that'll have you feeling the Super Bowl fever before it even hits. Whether you're a seasoned pro or ready to roll for the first time, my bookie is your ticket to turning your sports knowledge into cold, hard cash so that you can have enough to pay for your food delivery. <laughs> My bookie has the largest online lineup of odds contests and Vegas style casino games, making it your ultimate destination for all type of fun 24 seven, right at your fingertips. If you've been waiting for the right time to get in on the action, the wait is over. Make your winning move today and sign up at my bookie use promo code GJ GJ to claim your deposit of up to $1,000. That's right. GJ GJ for an opportunity to boost your betting power experience. It's the thrill of sports betting right from the comfort of your home. That's the kind of stuff we like. Uh, because with my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere. Join my bookie today and be a part of the winning team. Very good. Like you want to go to Pop the Trunk? You got something else to add? Uh, I'm done. Okay, real quick as uh, Joshua cues it up. So many, you have found your tribe. Who? Uh, your laundry, non-laundry and tribe. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So many so people. Many people. Were you surprised by that? Yes. I was too. I was like, oh, all of you? All of you don't wash clothes? <laughs> I said, Great. Mel has found her tribe. Look at us a community. Yes. There was a man in there talking about, this was, I'm, I might have to delete it because I don't want y'all to go harass him. But his comment was like, so she don't do laundry. She probably don't uh, take out the trash or mow the yard. So what exactly does she do in her home? I said, sir, why would that be the all? Of the chores that need to be done that makes her do nothing in the house. And mowing the lawn is outside of the house. It really, first truly. Of all. And second of all, boy, bye. I was like, sir. If those are the only three, the only chores you're aware of in a house. That would be the problem. That would be the problem. And that you would be the problem. no idea what's going on Then in this house. other dude said, according to my calculation, 71% or 61% of women in, um, in Atlanta don't know how to cook. Sir, what what calculations you doing? What research Wait, have you done? Where did you get that statistic? Because you from? pulled it out your behind, That's trying to sound smart That's and rebut what I was saying. Because I said, sir, he was. I can't remember how it started. He was like, "That's the problem." Yada yada yada. And I was like, so my response was something like, "So there wouldn't be a problem if she was doing it all, right?" And he was like, "Well, by my calculations, it's sixty one, seventy one percent of women in Atlanta don't know how to cook or." In Atlanta? In Atlanta. Atlanta. In Atlanta? I'm sure his sample size is very small. It, precisely. And you're probably finding women, women that don't want to cook for you. For you. Because, because of you. Okay, it's, it, you're the it's problem, actually sir. you. They can cook. They don't want to cook for you. I said all the men it, that showed up in the comments talking about how sad this is, you would be the problem. Oh, that is great. Please, please come. Please comment and say how sad it is. I love it. Tell me how sad it is while I continue to not wash my clothes. Because what? That's great. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's cue it up. I want to pop the trunk on my doggone job that has us returning back into the office four days out of the week starting in January. And there is another department that has a very similar job description to mine. And they only have to go into the office two days out of the month. So when questioned, when I questioned management as to why we had to come into the office four days out of the week versus them two days out of the month, we were told, oh, it's because we would lose too many of them. And this is exactly why I'll be putting in my two weeks notice in the end of January. Oh, so you want me in every day? How about I don't come in at all? How about that? <laughs> How'd she go from zero to 100? So it escalated so quickly. I didn't know where she was going to end it. She said they have the same job description as me. They go in twice Wait. a month and I go in four days a week. This will be my last four days. <laughs> 
this. I, 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 I'm done I'll now. Get now. I'll, I'll get, get a new job a first. <laughs> I will get a new job. Send me my W-2 now because I can file my taxes. I'm done with y'all. <laughs> is it like that? And this is why I'll be putting in my two weeks. Girl, wait. Hold on. We need a buffer. I wasn't. You didn't want to have a conversation. You don't want to hold a town hall. You ain't want that job. You've been looking for a reason to leave it anyway. A long time. This just gave you the reason. Girl, start a union. <laughs> You've been trying to leave. Come on. State your case. Appeal to HR. Write a memorandum. Oh, man. She said, I will quit. I will quit before I come in here. Uh, I want you to know, uh, Courtney just gave us this idea. We need to update because you said at the end of January. <laughs> it's the end of January. We need to know how's the job hunting going. So, did, Did you find a, a job? job? Is it virtual? Are you now going in five days a week? Because now it's 2024. We're long gone from the pandemic. I've been wondering that actually because when I went on mat leave anyway from Netflix, we were not in the office yet. Mm -hmm. But it's 2024. Is everybody, is our most people, outside of the people that are on our team <laughs> yeah. that ain't going in but two, twice a month, are most people back in the office full time now? I think so. Really? I would assume you got something to say. Oh, no. I think that most people are, I feel like we're back operating regular. It's so interesting because I feel like we all collectively thought that, like, because of COVID and, and the fact that everything was moved work from home, mm -hmm. that that would be, like, a turning point yes. in work culture. Yes. And that we would never return to the idea uh -huh. of, like, fully being in work uh -huh. or at an office in a building and commuting and being there. And so it's interesting to hear that, like, that wasn't the case, essentially. Yeah. I'm looking at the comments. It's actually about 50-50. Oh, really? It looks like some people are back. Some people are hybrid and some people are virtual. Yeah. Like well, it's a I good mix. Like there was an influx in remote pickups. Yeah. So yes. I think they might be grandfathered in. Mm. I don't know how easy. Well, maybe it is still easy to kind of push a hybrid situation. Like Imara goes in once a month. Nice. Once a month? Once a month. Once a month. One time. And we're trying to keep that same. Yeah. I'm not great. mad. The whole month. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of That's time. That's great. That's but, fantastic. But the, but the argument, too, of like her even going in the once a month is there's still people that because she'll go in for meetings. Right. But there's still people that will call in from like East Coast. Yeah. Virtually that are on the TV. And it's just like, well, if somebody's calling totally in, in what's, why what's the real yeah. point? If know? the whole team is here, you want us all here? Fine. But right. if some people are actually like on the other side of the country, then I should be able to call in. The other thing is how truly productive am i in the office sitting at a computer well, versus of, being at home especially sitting if you at commute, a computer you're going to be tired when especially you get there if you commute. and you want to leave early to beat the traffic what what's the point of driving all that way for the few hours and you falling asleep exactly. at the desk exactly. when you could be rested and how many hours do you waste in the in the office right. yeah. you're talking you're chit chatting you're doing this you're your doing hour that lunch. you're yes you're doing so and you know black people if i have an hour lunch i'm gonna warm up my food five ten minutes before mm -hmm. my lunch starts so, so by so the time the actual eating, the right. hour right. career i'm not trying to wait 10 minutes and now my lunch is actually 50 i'm not doing that no. so like it's a lot of things that you just end up wasting time mm -hmm. doing anyway that i could have just been at the house yeah, yeah. and i think if we did a better job of like um outlining what we expect of people yeah you can actually measure their performance without them actually having to come into I'm the office because yeah, yeah. i think that's what it is you're trying to hold people accountable mm -hmm. but like just be clear on what you expect mm -hmm. and people, folk can stay at home. I um, loved being able to work from home, but I do wonder, even now I'm like, I need a reason to leave the house. Now I look for a reason. So I started to miss that. I didn't miss the interactions with the work people. I don't think I was less productive. I was actually more productive. I did way, I worked way more hours at home because- you, your computer is right there. You right. don't, I don't have to be in a location. I, I'm doing this right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I worked more hours, but I feel like I started to miss having something to do every day. Yeah, I get that. But I did not miss the interactions. I tell you what, I did not miss having to like be in people's faces. The small talk. The small talk. And the politics and of the it all. Politics, oh my God. All that goes away. The politics it, are toxic. Oh, oh my gosh. My God. It got so amazing to be like, Okay, well, this video calls over. Bye. Bye. You want to put something on my calendar? Let me block my calendar yes. because now I'm busy. Focus Correct. Time. And you, it's focused. And you have no idea what I'm doing. When you're at work, people be looking at your stuff and or just pop you at in. your desk, coming to say hi and who you're having a meeting with, walking by the conference rooms. When you at your house, they don't know what you're doing. No. 
I used to be getting my hair done. I used to have whole braid <laughs> appointments, okay, in the middle of the day with my computer on my lap. Yes, I'm working camera off. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of my most productive time during the week is when I'm sitting up under the hairdryer at the uh, <laughs> hair salon. I am uninterrupted. I have that little thing on. I can't talk to nobody. Focus Y'all can't time. hear me. I'll be ch- 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 Listen. shooting off the emails. Let us do what we need to do. Sure. Okay, number two. Oh, yes. We got a whole nother one. Hey, ladies. This is Kia. Happy holidays to you both. So listen, I am popping the trunk on Amazon Prime two-day shipping because it don't because be. why is two-day shipping not two-day shipping during the holidays <laughs> i expect you to know that i'm gonna wait till the last minute to order my gifts come on i expect you to know that everybody else is gonna wait till the last minute to order their gifts so figure it out y'all are too big amazon you are too big to not be prepared for my late last minute shopping. Okay? Amen. You're too big to not be prepared for the rest of the world's late last minute shopping. Amen. Hire more shippers, packers, <laughs> deliverers, whatever it is you need to do to accommodate me and my tardiness. Okay. I need my gifts to my people on Christmas Day, and I don't care that I'm ordering them on the 23rd. That's irrelevant. Okay. Irrelevant. You want to be a monopoly? Then be a monopoly. Amen. Do the things. Get my packages where they need to be in two days, please. Please and thank you. Okay? I'm not happy. I'm really not happy with Amazon. Every time I see something, it's telling me gets here after Christmas. Gets there. No. Don't put Prime and tell me it's going to get there after Christmas. You're no longer Prime. Take it off the list. I need it there in two I need it there in, in two days. Like you've been promising me. Oh, that's so great, but I concur because Amazon Prime is not Prime in the way Amazon Prime used to Prime. So true. I it, they are so quick. I have so many emails right now from Amazon. It is after the holidays. Your delivery is delayed. Your delivery is delayed. Your delivery is delayed. Your delivery is delayed. Why is it delayed, Amazon? Amen. Get Bezos on the line Amazon. pronto. That's yes. primely. That's poor R and D. You know the trend. Absolutely. Yes. You know when people are going to order, and you know why you I'm know. here, you know Amazon. You know what you sold us you know on i'm here you, you sold us on quick shipping you did you don't have to go to the store you know why because we're going to get it to your doorstep before you even think about it the moment you thought you needed soap an amazon prime driver was at your door with soap that's so true. that's what hey hey hey, hey how are you here you go I, I, you remember that subscription you had signed up for here's your soap yep that's what you sold me on now everything is delayed everything, everything is delayed I need my two dollars back. I That's agree. what I because you pay me an annual. I pay you an annual Hello. subscription. It come out on time every time. Three hundred sixty five days true. on get that three hundred. You time. get your money on time. No time. Give me my money, my package. Why is no one ready? <laughs> Why is no one ready? That's what I would like to know. Prime. Let's get it together and, and pay your people and pay your people and pay your people because we've heard the conditions. For which the warehouse workers work at Amazon. We good. know someone personally. We do. Yes, oh. her daughter. Oh, I know. Yes, had worked. That's why I had to. I had to switch up there. We do know her personally, but we don't know know her. We know her, but we do know her. I know her. I've had less than a handful of interactions with her, though. I've had many. Oh, okay, well, Mel knows her. I know her. Okay, all right. Understand the difference. Uh, she said those conditions were terrible. She did say that long hours yep. and uh where you're expected to work a certain number of overtime hours of overtime and they pay you like crap yep. and then they say the overtime is what gets you like a reasonable salary right. well that doesn't work yep. pay me regular and overtime shouldn't be an embedded number for me to have a livable wage yeah. that's not fair yeah 100 percent. all right anything else i just want to say that's why i was thinking about stealing at target is because amazon wouldn't deliver on time. So the only other alternative that exists is stealing. So what we're going to do sometimes when you have a logic that don't be logic in <laughs> is it's good to sit down with a third party Hello, and better help has those third parties that can sit down and walk you through, walk me through how you came to this conclusion. And I can tell you the holes, the potential downfalls, pitfalls, the blind spots in your plan. Mm. And that's why we're so grateful to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. Okay, we all uh, have therapists here over at the Kevin Stage Studios. I'm actually thinking about, anyway, I won't say that. So I have a personal therapist uh and um, 
she uh one of the things that actually i think i told you guys this but one of the things we actually talked through that was really empowering for me is i i was talking to mel about it is i was making a decision i like to do everything right i think i can i think i have 36 hours in my day i don't newsflash and so i was struggling because i'm like i want to do the laundry i want to wash clothes i want to clean my house i want to cook dinner i want to cook breakfast i want to make lunch for my kids i want to do all of these things and i cannot possibly get them all in my day Mm -hmm. and so she was asking me or telling me to prioritize what is important to me so I could deprioritize or remove the things from my to-do list that are not important to me and I literally can say I don't have to do that I can outsource it or I'm making a decision to not do it and it what was helpful for me because I've always said that I feel like uh I am a, a victim to my time like I'm not in control of my time time just gets away from me mm-hmm. and by making a decision on how I'm going to spend my time put me more in control and not like time got away from me mm-hmm. because I didn't put something on my plate that I was never going to be able to do in the first place it yeah. was very empowering and that's one of the things that I work through with my therapist and so if you you are like me and having time juggling issues and time management issues and you're trying to figure out how are you going to do it all especially as women or we're trying to do it all and sometimes we have to come to the conclusion you cannot so prioritize what is important to you get the things done that are important to you and then just let go of the other stuff mm-hmm. that you're just weighing your yourself down and making you feel bad and mom guilt and wife guilt and da, 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 da. you don't need all of that okay so then you can feel better and lighter throughout the day so if you're thinking about starting a therapy give better Tra- better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule i actually talk to my therapist usually on my way to my hair appointment i get my hair done every <laughs> wednesday and because I know I'm getting my hair done every Wednesday at a very specific time, I usually talk to her during that commute. And it works for me because I don't have to be sitting at a computer. I don't have to look at her in the face. Like I could be driving and it works. Okay. Hands free, of course, because we're always going to be safe. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with your licensed therapy and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Celebrate the progress you've already made. It's the beginning of the year, we all have goals and plans and da da da. Do help uh, find someone that will help you. Uh, hold you accountable visit betterhelp.com slash dj today for 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp help.com slash gj gj fabulous all right say my gj no no i'm sorry i didn't (laughs) cut you off i was going fast i felt like i spent a lot of time on the ad um okay anything else on that no all right moving on black twitter trends go for it go for mine yeah um so mel mitchell uh, who is the Melanie of her family yes. and the youngest in her family. Uh, hi, hi, my son. Hi. My son that got into an HBCU college. Let's Can go. we say congratulations woo, to him? Woo. I say, uh, this is me not adding pressure to your decision. I have to show you the video of uh, Micaiah. Did you show? No, I didn't. She was saying, we were on the plane when you sent it. She was missing y'all apparently yesterday. She said everybody's name is so did. cute. She was like, hi, Jojo. Hi, Zale. Hi, Auntie. Hi, all. Oh. <laughs> it's so adorable though it's, so it's very cute uh anyway uh mel mitchell posted a video about reading to kill a mockingbird in school i've never read that book but based on her video and the comments that book has a lot of um uh, it has the n-word it's a lot of like racist things happening which is not surprising because we're, there are many books that we read. Anyway, I haven't read a lot of those like staple school books that I feel like people read. I know you mm-hmm. read of I, Mice and Men. I read of Mice and Men. I read, uh, there's another, is that by John, what's his name? John Stanback? Steinbeck. Steinbeck. Is that of Mice and Men or did he have another one? He had a few. He also did uh, Grapes of Wrath. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, maybe I did read I've it. I've never read Grapes of Wrath. I haven't read a lot of them. I read Charlotte's Web. I don't even think I read Charlotte's Web. No. I'm trying to remember the books. Because I took AP English. So what was Oh, you were reading then? I know I was reading. I don't remember. You were reading good then. You know what is so interesting? I remember being a kid and my parents talking about things that happened in their younger years and them not remembering. And I always thought, like, how do you not Mm -hmm. remember that? When I tell you I don't remember. You don't remember, child. child, I promise you I don't. I don't don't know what happened. I, I don't know. I don't feel like I read The Grapes of Rap, but maybe I did. I don't know. The Catcher in the Rye? You read that? I haven't read that. No. I don't think I did. So. I feel like I read like Hamilton. Oh, you, The Great Gatsby. I read The Great Gatsby. What for about sure. The Giver? Uh-uh. No, I heard of The Giver. You read it? Josh read it. I read The Giver. Okay. 
Native Son. I'm just reading Native Son. I feel like I read that in college, maybe. Uh, the Scarlet Letter Fahrenheit. I read. What was the Scarlet book one? Letter. Fahrenheit uh, four fifty one. Yeah. I read that one. Wasn't that sad? It was. It was basically like future times them burning books. Yeah, I remember that. Child. I read that one. I don't know. Um, I think I read the Odyssey. I don't know what Animal Farm is. Oh wait, that's the one. Nope, I didn't read that. That's I the whole thing. I remember The Giver. Oh, I remember Crossing. that book. There was a. There was. Oh, there was one about. Oh, what's the name of this book? There's one in my mind that I'm missing too, and I can't think of the oh, name. Oh, I want one of y'all to say it. There's a, is it the, maybe it's the giver. Is the, what is the giver about? Let me look. Hold on. A tree. Wait, are you being for oh, real? Wait, no, I dystopian. think it, it's something. Someone is calling me. No, there, the one, it, this is utopian. I don't remember that. But there is one about some people. Oh, boy. I, 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 know, I know, I know. Oh, boy. Some people who, they gave me like, Mormon vibes in the book, but they, I'm pretty sure they were not. It's not, like, not Lord of the Flies. No, no, you know, it that was, one though. I haven't read that. Oh, that one's creepy. That one's very, I, I yeah, That's it was like, creepy. I read the, I watched a movie about it too after we watched the, read the book. Oh, I, I don't remember seeing the movie. Oh, yeah. I know why the caged bird sings. That, that sounds, I feel like I read that. Is that Maya? Angelou? Yeah. Now me calling her Maya like I know her like that. I know. That's why I, <laughs> I put some respect on that. Yeah, Angelou. that's my Angelou. Um, book about women. The Scarlet Letter? No. Okay, I can't remember. Their Eyes Were Watching God. Is that Zora Neale Hurston? I think I watched that. I mean, watch. I read that. Okay, I, I can't remember. It's going to eventually come to me. Anyway, um, I did... Not The Giving Tree. Um, I didn't read a lot of these books, but let me tell you. When Harry Potter came out, they read, my teacher, she's the one who read The Giver to us, wanted to read it in the school. I mean, mm -hmm. in the classroom. Uh -huh. And. That's when you started cussing. I, that it probably <laughs> is because my mother, with all of her saved Christianity, Jesus mm -hmm. loving, church feet stomping self, wrote a letter. And didn't let you to read the it? principal and said, my daughter will not be reading that book. So I was just about to say, I'm surprised you read that. I have never read it. Because. So what happened is that every day that they read the book, I had to be escorted out of the classroom That's and so taken to the library by myself where I sat at a desk. That's traumatic. By it's so traumatic. I know. <laughs> That's oh, why that's you, terrible. That's why I started cussing. That's why I started cursing. Every, every walk on the way to the library. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> my little black self, I had to get out every day. She would be like, well, we're going to read Harry Potter. So, Melanie. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's trauma. That's let me, trauma. Let me grab my things Tru and go sit Truly, in the honestly, if like you don't have this me. experience, if your mom or your dad was churchy and you don't have an experience where you couldn't do something. Something just because they felt like it was devilish worldly you but your mom your parents wasn't really safe no. but not you catching the energy because some you didn't I even feel ask like that that's witchcraft what do you mean it is witchcraft that. i've she never watched it so mean to me after that because she was over here wanting special treatment well mary marshall and mom i tried to tell her about about it years later and she was like and i stand by that I, I, I was she, like, i'm sure she stood on this list. i could have just sat in there and listened to harry potter know, i'm sure because what would you what would what was your replacement because not only do you read the book you normally have to have quizzes to make sure that oh. you stayed up on it there's usually a test and there's probably a project of sorts oh my gosh i was given stuff when i went to the library she would give me stuff to do I had to do other things. It was so stupid. It was so stupid. To this day, I've never read or watched Maybe. Harry Potter, but it's because I have. It's because you got that that conviction from before. We you have know. this thing now where I'm like, ugh. You're repelled by it because of the experience, but I it's not the book's so, fault. But it's not the book's fault. It's not I, the book's fault. And I've heard that it's so good. So now, I should probably Isaiah read used it to watch, it's, listen, it's listen, watch those, didn't you? Harry, Harry Potter? Potter? <laughs> well, your daddy did. I should I should watch it. Anyway, that's my that's not my going villain to. origin story. That's I remember, the reason I curse mother. That's it. I remember in eighth grade. No, no, no. No, it was eighth grade. We had an eighth grade ball. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Please oh, I, find this I, photo. I, I, I gotta find the picture. Oh. I gotta find the picture. I let's start from the <laughs> let's start from the top. I had my hair 
uh, parted in the center. Oh, Melissa, find the picture. With uh, the pump it up, you know, what is this called? Bust down in the front. And I had barrel curls that were never combed out. So you just see the barrel curl. Okay. Not a stitch of makeup. Um, these little, I feel like maybe they were like pearl earrings or something. And I had this purple dress that had like a sweetheart top that my mom made me put a white t-shirt a t-shirt she was going to a dance i was going to a dance had a formal like purple lavender like dress dress. gowny like for a dance yeah and she had a white t-shirt and i had a white t-shirt underneath underneath it. it i hope i could i hope i can find the picture i want you to know that i make a lot of decisions based off of that particular experience why because i thought that was so ridiculous so a lot of um when i like i choose to be scandalous to do revealing and show your skin that's why mom is worried about this is how (laughs) this dress was made and how it was intended to be worn i want to make sure that i wear it just like Uh, that that was your actual villain story you wore a t-shirt under a dress. You guys, it's a full t-shirt. I, oh, mother. Like a full white. It's so t- bad. It's like, imagine this sweetheart top. And then it was like, not even spaghetti strap, but it like connected here. And I feel like the back was out. Yes. And, and she had a t-shirt. And on. I had a white, I'm sure I have Mom it uploaded on my it. Facebook. And I had to wear a white. And when I, I need you to understand the t-shirt of it all. When I say T-shirt, like Hanes style, yes, like, like it was a T-shirt. It was so bad. Oh man, I hate when you're in your uh, Facebook pictures and you accidentally hit out, oh, and yeah. it now you're just out because I was doing good on. Scroll. We're gonna have to find this and have it edited into the um, episode because it deserves to be seen. Yeah, it's really That's great. That's my true origin villain. Origin yes, story. it's basically it's a, a halter top, sweetheart top dress. This is where purple was always my favorite color. It's like a lavender. It's low key the same color of my wedding mm. uh, from the first time. Okay, Listen, like the second it. time it's happened. And yes, I have a white t shirt underneath it. If I find it, I will insert it so you Please. guys can see it. I feel Please like do. I know I have it. It has to be like early on in my Facebook years. I feel like I've seen it. Um, so, anyway, yeah, that's, that's the churchy story we grew up in. Um, all right, moving on. Anything else there? Black Twitter Trench, you have something else you wanted to say? Nope. All right. Are you on threads? Nope. So I thread started serving me people's threads on my Instagram feed. Oh, yeah. I hate that. Um, I do. I have a love hate relationship with it myself, actually. But I end up on threads. So mm. it's doing what they want me to do. So I was on there the other day and this man posted my dog has a lump on his throat. OK. Uh, going to the doctor. And you guys pray for him, you know, whatever. I'll be back. They're going to give me the results in a couple of days. Three days later, which is what I saw. Yeah. He said he has cancer. <gasps> the dog? Yes. I was on the plane. Crying? Crying. Oh, my Jesus. I said, Kevin. You don't know these people. I know. Or his dog. I don't know him. I promise you I don't. I was just scrolling, minding my business, and then it served it to me. And I said, Kevin, he has cancer. And Kev was like, you have got to relax get off the you internet, have got ma'am. to relax but when i tell you my heart was broken because <laughs> i don't understand why god would allow animals to have cancer i do agree with that like it, we're, it's already so bad in the world we get animals to make us feel better and they have to go through the same stuff we have to go to that's not fair jesus i do get uh surprised a lot when i hear that animals have issues i'd be like the dog is blind that is sad. Also, it's How expensive. It? And it is expensive. And that's what he was saying. Like, he was like, he's just going to be spoiled for the next part of his life. I not said, on bills. Not on medical bills. Just like Meaning spoiled, he can't like, afford food. to get him. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I said, oh, Dang. this is so sad. I was that very is. sad. I was very, very sad. This reminds me two stories. Where I know I've, we've told you guys <laughs> this before. But it reminds me when um, I was looking for a comedy to watch. And I turned on um, Marley and Me. Oh, I've never seen that. I've heard it's sad, though. You said a comedy to watch? <laughs> Girl, Joshua. It's freaking, what's that boy's name? Austin, Owen, Aston, Owen, 
Uh, Owen. Was it him? Yes. Owen Wilson? Owen Wilson. I don't know why I called that man He's Aston. You were close. Yes. The, the syllable sounded like her ass. I'll take it. <laughs> like Owen. Because isn't he a comedian, a, a, comic, oh, a comedy is, actor? Uh, yeah. And it's Jennifer Aniston. What role of, of gravity has she played in? None. That's hilarious. So I was like, oh, this will be a great use of my Saturday. I'll sit down and watch this white movie and laugh and have a good time. It was sad. Bawling my freaking eyes out. Awful. The only thing I've ever heard about that movie is that it's sad. And it took me by surprise. I did not know that it was going to be sad. Mm. So I haven't. I did. Last night, I, I have to stay away from sad movies because I cry really easily. I, we, Joe's school is near a cemetery. And every time I drop him off, obviously we have to row past it. Well, specifically during the holidays, oh. the cemetery is filled with people oh. and balloons and flowers and, flowers and, and just every day I had to mm. tell myself, do not cry. You cannot do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can't do this. But my heart is breaking for these people yeah, whose loved yeah. ones aren't there during the holidays. Again, one more story. When me and Mel was looking for a Dave Chappelle comedy special to watch. This was years ago. On a Saturday. Because he's the goat of comedy and I've never seen a special and we need to sit down and watch a Dave Chappelle comedy special. You want to do that? Yes. Let's do it. Couldn't find it. You know what we watched instead? That What's his name? Khalif, ha- Khalif Browder. Browder. The Khalif Browder story. Is the saddest. Tell the people what the story is. I don't, I don't is. know it, but I Movie. don't. It's 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 his it's not even, it's a movie but it's his real life, Khalif Browder. It's like documentary style. Yes, Ka- Khalif Browder was a young, young black man in New York. I feel like young, this is underreported. Who it is? He um, was accused of stealing a woman's backpack. Yes, and was put in jail. Yes, he didn't have the money to get out, so they kept him there for years. Years for a backpack like. It was like $200 camera or something yes. in the backpack. He ends up spending, I feel like it was like three was years, years yeah. in jail. Literally, he needed like less like than $500. Like a minimal amount of money. To get out. He His family like didn't have dollars So he stays in jail for three years. Okay. They keep pushing his his court date because the woman has left the country. So they just leave him in jail. Most of the three years he's in jail, he's in solitary solitary confinement. confinement. He's like 18, 19. Young kid. In solitary confinement. If it was like 900 days, it was like 700. He was in solitary confinement. He was abused by them officers and it was Rikers Island. And it was Rikers. He's abused, beat up, not fed, just treated horribly. He finally gets gets out. out. Sues. Sues. And on my birthday in two thousand whatever year it was. Committed suicide. Hangs himself. He had been out for like How old was he? Young. I young. He had been out for like Maybe th- 60 days. It really, it was, he died June 6, 2015. 2015. Happy birthday. Girl, you're not a girl. You get it. <laughs> he, when I tell you, me and Mel were in the house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we were, it just, it kept getting funny. worse. It was so upsetting. That story to this day pisses me off. It is one of the worst stories it's I've so ever bad. heard. It because is you so think- bad. Not that it's better, but that you feel better watching the story thinking he sued, he wins, he gets to start it his gets life. Better, right? Yes. He's going to start his life. He can at least afford the therapy or whatever yeah. to like work through clearly the trauma that he has gone through. And the fact that he de- he can't that trauma stays on him yes. to the point of suicide. Yes. Oh my gosh. Twenty two. So he, he was twenty two when he passed. 22. And he went in. Man. So did he go in at 16? I was going to say, I feel like he was in there for a while. That's like five years. No, him, he was in there for a while. They put him at Rikers at 16. Yes. He's charged as an adult over a backpack. That I don't even think, if I remember, I don't even think he took or it really wasn't yeah. even that deep. Well, and yeah, oh, I don't man. think it was ever even proven that he had done this. 
Listen, Michelle, she said, why did y'all watch that? I don't Girl, know. We didn't know. It's we, not the point. The point is that know. it was watched and it was it sad. It was watched and we it was know. sad. But we yes, we know. did start off trying to watch Dave Chappelle. I promise you that was the goal. Oh, my gosh. It's a similar situation happened with me at Fruit for Fruitville Station. I didn't know Fruitville Station was about what it was about. And I was at one of Gregory's friend's house that was having a cookout, okay? Everybody's drinking and being loud. Nobody's watching the TV. I was like, I'm going to watch the TV because I don't know what y'all are talking about. I turn on Fruitville Station thinking oh. that it's going to be funny or like Light-hearted. appropriate. I had no idea what was it about. I was in there like, I have to go home. <laughs> why did I? Everybody's like, why are you watching this? I was like, y'all know what this is. I didn't know what this is. This is so, y'all knew? Oh, my God. The, oh, my gosh. Why do we watch these black Girl. trauma films? Oh, my gosh. You need to know going in. It's I can't watch stuff like that today. Yeah. I st- I didn't watch the, um, uh, what are they called? The uh, Ava DuVernay on Netflix. Oh, I didn't watch it. When They See Us. Yeah, wh- I didn't see, I didn't watch it. It's When They See Us, yeah. I don't yeah. So that lawsuit is happening right now, actually. And oh. they want to. Netflix and Ava want the jurors because, you know, they're being sued for the way that the oh, woman right. was represented yes. in the case. And so they are asking that the jurors be required to watch the series. Oh, wow. Which I, I would ask. Like, I would be asked to be dismissed. That's interesting. I'm actually very curious what's going to happen with that case. Anyway. Uh, well, I couldn't watch it. Didn't watch it. I'm not watching it. I don't have the capacity. I don't have the emotional space to hold stuff like that yeah, anymore. I know. Like, I'm, I'm just out. All right, we're done with that. We are done. We uh, go. It's your time. Yeah, I do have to go. I have one more thing to, I do got to go. And yes, I got one more thing to say. One more thing. Say it. The trust on Netflix. Oh, okay. Okay, really quickly. Okay. If you have not watched this show, it's freaking great. Everyone starts off a winner. But for what, for what literally, whatever reason, someone can be voted off. There's no true rhyme or reason yeah. why someone can be voted off. You have too much money. You got on my nerves. I don't like you. I feel like you're lying. I just don't want you here. Selfishly, I want more money. Therefore, you have to go. I, I, any of those reasons, oh someone can go. Yes. So we're on the last. The last episode drops tomorrow, tomorrow actually. Yeah. Yes. Or I think it's the last episode. Drops tomorrow. Is it only one? I, that's what I can't tell. If it's only one. Yeah, it says eight episodes. Oh, and we're two, at seven? We're at, no, we're at six, so it's probably two. Two episodes? Okay. Is it three and three, or was it four and three? I don't know. I'm about to look it up, okay. so we're not guessing. Um, This is all I have to say. If you haven't watched, it's freaking fantastic. But when Jay, spoiler alert, did you watch it, Joshua? Are you going to watch oh, it? Oh, Miss Jay. Okay. Jay goes into the vault, and they said, you have two options. Girl. You can take, I'll take 20,000. We didn't I give you the option. Leave. I'll take the 20,000. Y'all going to give me money for me to leave. You didn't hear the, I said, I'll take the 20. I don't care what the other option is. You do not have to tell me. I will go home. She I'm sick of, of these people. She was out of there. They don't like me anyway. The white girl over here is on my nerves. Oh my goodness. This white girl over here is on my nerves. The black girls love them, but they probably might turn on me. <laughs> I will take the 20000 and I will get my old behind Ow. wig wearing, bathing suit, can't put on. Ask the dude, can he help me take put it up over my booty behind having self do that? and get out of here? Mm-hmm. She was my favorite she was hilarious she was my favorite also last thing i got to say about this is the dynamics of what white with what black women say about white women and that they align with women's rights until it becomes women's rights versus oh. white folk specifically white men oh they turn on them black girls so quick fast oh in a hurry goodness, that was so interesting oh you to see it in real time that was really i was like oh wait what is happening here they, it was like girl power, girl power, but but also I like him. Quick, that's I like him. And the other girl didn't like nobody. She was just paranoid. That woman, wait, but okay, because we have to go. Homeboy who got a lot of money, who was a millionaire, Bryce. So he comes on. Did you get to submit your secret? Because he submitted the secret that he was a millionaire at twenty one or whatever, and then. 
everybody's like, who the hell is the millionaire and why are they here? Because the rest of us don't have no money and he's here to take the money. And then he's all like, I just don't want people to judge me for my money. Why would you judge me? He was so fake. And then he find and then he can't wait to really tell can't. everybody that he's what? the millionaire. It's him up inside. He's like, I just if if the day goes good today, I'm gonna tell everybody. If she blinks twice, I'm gonna tell no, everybody. No, legit. If that cup is red, I'm gonna tell everybody. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm the millionaire. Oh, I feel so much better. I feel oh. like I can finally be myself. I can finally holding wear this secret. My Louis Vuittons. Oh. I can lo- finally wear all of my fancy, expensive it's things been that none so of you ghetto. have. It was like so ghetto that I haven't been able to wear my my Gucci, my Gucci and my Dior. Oh, it was so stupid. And then he was like, "It does anybody want to look me in the face and tell me they voted?" Boy, if, if you don't get up out of here, if you don't, if scram. you don't get up out of here, and then this is the other part that pisses pissed me off: the way he was trying to act like he had been through like oppression. Listen, I just I had to work. It doesn't matter. My mom started the company and through nepotism, I was able to get the company and probably through her connection. I sold the biggest house in Pierce County. I worked my behind off. And I have a team of people that I pay. Yay for them. Because I'm so generous and you guys don't see my heart. When he was talking to that lady and she said, I don't think you should say it like that. That's the only thing. Say it like this. And I said, this is. That's a good spin. It was. It changed my perspective. She did that. That was. A I didn't good like spin. her. I didn't like her. So I didn't like her perspective. However, her spin was. Her spin than his was. Spin. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt. It was so good. I said, "Oh, okay. That's how you do that, huh? That's yes. called PR. That that's is called, called PR relations. You know what you're doing. I, he still didn't do that. No, because he was so hell bent on being like. Uh, he wants. People I'm so to know. oppressed. Yeah, yeah. Like, sir, you don't have a struggle. Shut up. Yeah. This is the other thing I thought he did wrong. I feel like he should have said, you all are correct. I really don't have a dog in that in this fight, but that makes me your best ally. Yeah. I'm just here to make sure everything goes smoothly because I really don't have, I, I don't need, need the, the money. money. So I'm going to vote based on morals, high ground, whatever you tell me a secret, I'm just going to do what it, like, that's how he should have played because then you're trying to just win him as a, bo- as a vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they needed the vote. And they needed the votes. They needed the votes. And the bl- this is the last thing. Okay. Black girls got too high and mighty. Because how did y'all have the majority? Y'all was I running know. the show the whole time. And, then, and by the end? It, it's some, I don't know what happened. <laughs> it just, all of a sudden, it was like, oh, wait, the tables have turned. I mean, just like that. I didn't, I didn't even catch when it. I was like, literally, I was like, oh, wait, like it what turned happened? when Jay got kicked, when Jay decided to when leave. Jay left. Yes. And that's, that's why I believe that's who they needed. I believe the game influences the game. Oh, yeah. Because like those cards, I believe they already have cards that they can play out. Right. Mm-hmm. But I believe based on what's actually happening in real time, they decide what card to give in the to vault. Give. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. immediately after Jay it left. shifted. Oh, yes. Yes. As yes. soon as Jay left, all of it a sudden, shifted. You can, yeah, I was like, Ugh. and now, oh, dude, which again, it, all you need him to do is be like, listen, I know you don't really care. So really what I need you to do is just vote for us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. keep us in power. We won't vote you off because clearly and you don't need it. So let's just align. Yeah. No, they would go. They was kicking off everybody left and right. And guess who was at the end? Just the two of them. Yeah. And then old girl got kicked off, which, by the way, last thing. Yep. She wasn't the wi- winner. She wasn't the leader. Um, Winnie. No, she wasn't. It was like, it was all of a sudden, it's like, Winnie's the one. It was Tolu the whole time. And I was like, the problem is, Tolu, though, she kept her, um, she knew how to play her. She, she knew how to play the game. She did. She did. Winnie was being all, and Tolu would be like, whatever it's a game now it's a, i was so wrong yeah yeah. i yeah. really didn't yeah, mean yeah. to go off like that so they, yeah. i'm so sorry i humbly apologize do you accept yeah my apology i agree and when he wasn't playing a she game that way uh-uh. and that made her look like she was the leader she wasn't yeah. tolu been leading the whole time I agree with that. she just stayed just under you know she was the vice president yeah but that was running all this all the show yeah i agree with that I'm, I'm, it's only one more episode because it said it's, it's, it, is it is eight one more. and okay. seven have premiered already. So we'll see who the winner is. Are you, do you have a bet? Oh, let me see. Oh, wait. Are you thinking, I guess it's a matter of will they all stay on or 
Will other people be voted off is the real question. So I so who's left? Julie is left. She's a dummy. Oh, I hate her. Jake is white privilege personified. So he goes. Gasper is still there. Gasper is still there. Tolu is still there. Brian is still there. Which one is? Oh, I like Brian. Brian is clearly the only one that yeah. should make it to the end. Um, and I think Gasper might. But the thing is, Gasper voted Lindsay off. Oh, that's right. And I can't tell how. Wait, is Lindsay gone? Yeah, she just left. Okay. She was the one. Remember, uh, Tolu voted for Lindsay. Lindsay voted for Tolu. And then Gasper voted for Lindsay. And now Lindsay's gone. Yeah, but we just ended on a voting question. It was a matter of people had to vote. I can't remember what the. It was a. We left out on a cliffhanger of, of, of voting. So we're waiting for something to be revealed. I don't remember. But okay. Lindsay is off. Okay. All right. Leah, Lindsay's off. So the question, though, is who I think will make it to the end? Gasper and Brian. 100%. Jake and Tolu. Oh, well, no, I don't know about Julie either. Because Julie wants to admit some stuff, too. Oh, yeah. She wants to admit. Uh, she lied about the money mm-hmm. or whatever she did. So uh, I just think Brian and Gasper will be on. I will agree. be on. I don't know about nobody else. I agree. All right. That's it. That's all, y'all. We got to go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>